Thank you, Mayor, Ranking Member Morelli and members of the committee for joining us for one of our most important oversight hearings this Congress. Chief Manger, it's good to see you again. Thank you for joining us as well. Every day, the men and women of the United States Capitol Police safeguard the Capitol, not just the buildings, but the visitors, staff, and members inside. This protection also extends to district offices and members' homes across the country. Just yesterday, staff and Congressman Jerry Conley's Virginia office were attacked by a person with a baseball bat. This is abhorrent, and there's no room for political violence in our country. I'm grateful to local law enforcement who responded within five minutes and to Capitol Police for their constant coordination with local law enforcement. During a time when threats against members and staff remain at record highs, I personally want to say thank you to the men and women of Capitol Police for all that you do. In doing your job, the Capitol Police ensures Congress can do ours. This week is National Police Week. As, as we honor law enforcement across the country, I can think of no better way to say thank you to the rank and file men and women who serve the United States Capitol Police than having a conversation with a department leadership about how we can equip them with better tools and training and ultimately work to depoliticize Capitol security. Following the January 6th attacks on the Capitol, Capitol Police was placed under scrutiny by Congress and the general public. Since that time, the department has seen numerous reviews from federal oversight entities. Over 100 recommendations resulted from these reviews, with trends focusing on failures in intelligence gathering and sharing, communication breakdowns, equipment training, leadership, and accountability. Much of the department's focus over the last couple of years has been on closing these recommendations. I'm concerned that the department is not making the necessary changes with speed or efficiency, despite the department's budget being at historic highs and one of the largest in the country. As chairman, my goal is to depoliticize capital security. To do so, we must bring greater transparency into the operations and decision making of the department. Today's hearing will focus on increasing accountability, transparency, professionalism, and resiliency within the United States Capitol Police through proper oversight. I recognize the Capitol Police has multiple oversight entities, sometimes with different views and can often hamstring decision making. I've had the opportunity to speak with many of our frontline officers and share their concerns, including inconsistent training, outdated equipment, forced overtime. I look forward to today's hearing as we bring accountability and transparency to the department. We, mu we must also transform the department from a traditional police force to a protective force, while ensuring our officers have the tools needed to protect this institution now and in the future. 